We're in the two-time back-to-back season. Builder of the Year shop. Boy, let me let's do it again. This much time and all the decisions and all the work that goes into it through just garage. We love Pat Fender. A lot of good people. I want to drive it. It's going to get scratched. So, once we get everything finally blocked out. to the first one. Of course, we had to do another one. We've got classic trucks all up and down the street. Thank you so much for everybody for coming out. We're going to try and get as much of it recorded as we can. I know a lot of you couldn't get out here all the way to Arizona, but we really appreciate the ones who did because we have people who have driven down from Oregon, from Idaho, from all sorts of places. So let's go. Uh, I'm Brandon Bone. I live uh, over in Central Phoenix. Okay, let's go. So you raw, what did you bring? This is a 76 F-150, uh, mostly original. I am the second owner. Uh, it's from Tucson originally. Okay. Uh, it's got a 460. Um, it's a trailer special package, uh, so it's got the long bed. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I think that's about it's it. It's already pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Introduce yourself. C10 Pierce, hardline honcho, chassis extraordinaire. Oh, okay. But you kind of are. You do all of our. You put all of our chassis together. Thank yeah. You. Yes, that is true. That is true. It is a fact. Pierce says that for us. Indeed factual. You do a really great job. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. You do a lot more than build chassis, so we appreciate you. Thanks. Well, this is Marnie. We're the we're the girls of the shop, so we gotta stick together. Yes, we do. Well, always. you're the only girl in the shop now. Now I'm in the everything. office, so you you're it. the girl in the shop. But <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you do so much for us and we really appreciate you. Thanks for coming. And yeah, we love our employees, so I just oh, wanna no, show them off. So we heard that Solomon Ford Era um, broke down in Vegas. He didn't tell us that, he told Ronnie, C10 talk that, so we don't even know if that's true, but we'll see if he shows up. Hi, I'm Kyle. I have a blue 66 F250 crew cab. Is it here? It is, it's right over there. I've been running around, forgive me. Okay, okay. sweet, well, where did you come from? What's, what's your week been like? What, tell us the story, come on. Uh, we came from Snohomish, Washington. Um, we came in a pack of three trucks. Um, that truck started getting it was a really good running driving truck, but we did the four-wheel drive conversion. We started about six weeks ago, got a hold of Jason, decided to coyote swap it last minute. Felt we had a pretty I good heard truck. I phone with Jason, and I'm like, dang, yeah. they're doing that fast. <laughs> uh, we left with three trucks, and mine's the only one here. So the week getting here. Good on you. You know what? Nice pretty, for you. <laughs> the week getting here was pretty rough. Um, you know, unfortunately, lots of failures. E even this had a couple failures. We had 30 test miles before we left. Small failures, but yeah, it was a rough week. Every so. it, it doesn't have failures. It's not fun. exactly. Yeah, it's not what part of this. Yeah. yeah, what is it for then? Okay, exactly. well, is Solomon coming? What What's the story there? Uh, well, he's supposed to be here. I don't really know where he is. I had to end up leaving him behind. Uh, uh, that's what I heard. At we, some point, we to be able to make him. it here, we had to separate and. Oh, we had to just. So see you later, brother. He is at see the show. Later. He's close. Yeah, <laughs> it sucked. But what do you do? No, you got to do. His truck wouldn't fit in the bed of mine, so I was to the point where we we had to go. Uh, I'm Jim Tucker. You came last year, you remember, we know your truck, the 50th anniversary gold, we know. It's inside, so we're gonna get, you'll see it when it's in there, it's that two-toned one. How are you, are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Tell us who you are, you are not Solomon, no, we know that. No, I'm are Roman, you? Roman from Keeping It Classic. Okay, hey, tell us about your Mercury. Uh, 1966 M250 Mercury, originally two-wheel drive. Um, converted to four-wheel drive by Delfab. Basically, it's a supercharged GT500, 5.8 liter, roughly 740 horsepower. It's my daily driver Dang. when I want to drive okay. it. Yeah, I got some, uh, it's sitting on new high hills right now. Okay. I put it on some uh, some bias ply tires with some original Mercury hubcaps, Dang, which cool. I made sure I torqued those bolts down. I glued them hubcaps on, so don't try to steal them. Oh, okay, but there you go, that, there you I'm go. The vintage camper. Yeah, I was about to say, tell us about Check this, this camper. Check this out. It's, uh, it's family friendly, you know? Aww. Little man sleeping in the back. Okay. Yeah. That's what I need to do. But uh, no, this is known as... Uh, I'm next. I, I uh, hashtagged it, so this is King Mercules. 
King Mercules. Yeah. Oh, that's um, cool. I it's like a very, it. I mean, to me, it's a, it's a gem, you know, but it is a it's Mercury sure. crew cab yeah. made by Ford Motor Company. Um, they made these crew cabs and uh, they started manufacturing them in-house in 1965. Okay. So for this body style of Ford, yeah. they only made them for a production run of roughly 12 right. months. So you got that and then they moved on. So yeah, they didn't make very many of them. There you go. So to find these things, I mean, they were made from, I mean, Mercury made trucks from 1946 to 1968. Right. And um, it's just, it's cool. Tell me about this cab, what, or this, uh, the camper, yeah. yeah. You know what? I brought it because we're at Good Guys and they don't allow easy ups over there. Yeah. But we're having fun over here at Fat Fender. Thanks, Jason Definitely. and everyone. Definitely. But uh, no, the camper shell is a sport liner, vintage sport liner. Cool. Um, yeah, it's complete and uh, it fits the truck well. I like it, yeah. Hello, I am uh, Bucky Eggins. Bucky Eggins? Yes, That's Bucky Eggins. Yep. Okay, That's let's go. go. <laughs> Where are you from? Yep. Uh, New Jersey. Oh, okay. Yep, New Jersey. You're far away from home then. I am, I am. But this is a uh, 1977 Ford F-250 Custom. Okay. Um, uh, converted to a four-wheel drive with uh, Super Duty axles. Um, brought it from uh, Texas, had it shipped to Arizona. Um, had a little bit of work done from RP Customs of uh, Arizona. Okay. And uh, he uh, fixed it up a little bit. I mean, it pretty much came this way, but we did uh, a, a couple of upgrades with the interior, with the suspension, and uh, stuff like that. And we just made something good a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. So, How often do you drive it? Well, this is the actual first time that I'm seeing it. First like, time? Yes, no way. It is. It is. Are so, you stoked? I'm excited. I'm very Sweet. excited. My name is Chris. Nice to meet everyone. Cool. Where are you from? Uh, from I live in Tempe. From, okay. Mar from Maryland originally, Locals. but been here from, for 15 years now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, that founder did. Awesome. Okay, so tell us about your truck. Yeah, so it's an original Arizona truck. Uh, it's an 86. Uh, bought it from a, from a guy out in East Mesa. And it was a long bed originally that I had cut down to short. Uh, running the uh, chopping block frame. Uh, sitting on QA1 coilovers on all four corners. Uh, LS3 stock motor with a cam. Uh, what else? I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thank you so much for coming out. No, I appreciate it. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm from Arizona. Local. Been here my whole life. Me too. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Grew up in uh, Mesa and then Gilbert, and uh, this is the truck that we're working on right now. Perfect. Tell yeah. us about it. So it's a 1980. It's a long bed. The bed's off right now because this truck needs a lot of work. So we're gonna convert it to a short bed and do, do a bunch of other work? stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, we're gonna fix up the interior and do the body work and then get it all painted. And There you go. But motor and transmission are good. Just put AC on it. Yeah, you need that's, that in, AC, in Arizona. That's what matters yeah, is AC. AC. AC and AZ, that's so, what we say, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so it'll be a fun project. Yeah. Well, my name is Terry. Okay. And this is a 55 Series 1 Chevy truck. It's beautiful. You were like one of our first to get here. You got a great spot. It's a 350 okay. uh, Blueprint. Uh, got it from Summit Racing. It's beautiful. The firewall looks great. Yeah, that's the only thing I painted on the truck was oh, yeah? the firewall because it had a bunch of holes in it. So I just got to fill those holes. I shaved it and painted it. How often do you drive it? Uh, probably every other day. Okay, that's a lot. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I probably drive it every other day. She's running well then. Oh yeah. There it's you got go. Got air conditioning and tilt <laughs> wheel. So you're Jeff. Tell yes. us about your truck. It's a 1967 Ford F100 uh, built here at that Fender Garage. Um, it's got a newer '96 Ford 302. It's got a 2008 Crown Victoria front end. So it's got power disc brakes, power steering. Um, it's got a Ford nine inch rear end, 370 gears, brand new interior. Everything's everything's new except it's gorgeous. for- It's Yeah, I remember this one. Everything's new except for the, the paint. It's all patinaed. Of it's course, beautiful. It's, it's real, beautiful. Real That's patina. Awesome. <laughs> well, how often do you drive it? Um, so it got finished probably like the end of 2018 and I've got 21,000 miles on it. Oh, okay. So I drive it all the time. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, that nice. was that was the whole purpose was to make it a driver. It's got air conditioning, Gorgeous. power steering, everything. It's beautiful. Thank That's you. Awesome. I, I appreciate it. Look at it. You got to see the back. It's okay. so cute. Those are nice. I thought, when I first saw it, I would think, 
what is she smiling about? And then Jack comes along and uh, says, oh, that was Krista. Chris, Carissa. 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 Sorry, no, Carissa. No, you're fine. When I first was coming in, I'm thinking, she's smiling about something. And you, you like the shirt. I did Thank like you. your shirt. I did. My name's Jack Brand. I own Irene. You own Irene. The esteemed Irene. It yeah. looks gorgeous in there. We've been having a great time with it, taking it to shows and stuff. How are you liking it? Love it. Love it? Yep. Perfect. Do you have so, a, uh, do you have going a good time? Going to Del Mar next week. Oh, okay. Sweet. You guys are going to have fun. I'm Carissa, and you're watching Fat Finger Garage. Yes. My name is Marcus, and I own a 1979 Ford Bronco. Yes. It is. the. You guys already know. It's that maroon and silver one, that big, big Bronco that we've got. Badass. It's gorgeous, and it's yeah. a has a beautiful sound system. It does. Do you like it? Focal audio. It's beautiful. It sounds yeah. great. I love it. Yeah. I, I want. I want it. Do you want it? Yeah. I you at least want to drive it. I've never driven it. I need to you drive should. it. You I should. should. Yeah. I should. Okay. It is recorded that it's it official. is. It's officially allowed that I can drive that one. So <laughs> I'm going to. And how often do you drive your Bronco? Daily. It's a daily driver. That's yes. They deserve to be on the road. Do they yes, not? Yes, sir. I, I don't like the idea of spending this much time and, and all the decisions and all yeah. the work that goes into it to just garage it. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to drive it, it's going to get scratched, all of that's going to happen. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. As it should. So, we're inside now. We've been cleaning up for the past week, mostly today. Everything looks gorgeous in here. Thank you to all the guys for coming together. This was perfect. We had a really fun day. Um, everybody kind of coming together to do this. So, yeah. Um, but I see Paul, so let's go ask him about his truck. We made it. Okay, let's just look at this gorgeous truck. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this engine bay. I'm obsessed with it. Cody Smith from Tin Knockers um, has welded all this in like less than two weeks. It was crazy. Knocked it out of Literally knocked it out. Tin, tin Knockers for a reason. Yep. It's beautiful. Everybody's been blown away by his work. And Cody, you killed it. Honestly. A lot of compliments on it. It's gorgeous. Lot. It's gorgeous. All right, so then we got to get your engine in here. And then, like, what? What, what are you most excited about? Some of the things I want to point out is the grill. I love the grill. Uh, love the new interior here. And then the other thing that Pinstripe Chris, if everybody follows him on Instagram, his drawing on the other side, he had some subtle changes here on the bed that we did. And yep. And then yeah. uh, Pete Watkins. Um, Pete. Pete Watkins from Dexterous Engineering. Pete killed it. Pete killed it as well. Yeah, you're lucky. Great. You got some great welders got on your work. Great you got some great builders. Well, we love both of them. Shout out, come back soon. You can remind me, what are these What are these called? What so is it? There's is, a name for that, that, these kind of these stripes? These are called impact stripes. Impact stripes. Yeah, so that was something that was prevalent back in the 70s. And usually did it all the way across and kind of faded out to here. We're just gonna do the front like this and then keep it real simple and, and clean. And, too, right? and then Jason came up with this. I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice. We're gonna do shock wheels. And they're going to be, uh, I guess that's a titanium color on the inside. We're going to do the bumpers and the grill as well, Cerakote those. Okay, so when you first got here today, you, we sent you some paint samples a couple weeks ago. Sounds like you still haven't decided even though you've had so, weeks to decide. I saw you were looking at them today, so it seems like, did you make a decision? We did. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's Jason's preferred decision. Okay, so that's how it always goes. <laughs> And I think we chose your white. You picked the okay, white. Okay, there we think, go. Yeah, we picked your white and his red. Yes, so, yeah. there we go. Well, now yeah. I'm even more excited. So the interior is going to be red leather. Um, red on red on red. Red on red on red. I love it. It's relicate leather, so it's going to be pretty Beautiful. plush. You traveled a bit to come here, right? I traveled from Austin, Texas. There yeah. you go. We got our Acc Texas. Accents we keep losing weird. employees in Texas. Everyone's moving to Texas. It's the land of the free. These are my parents. This is my mom and this is my dad. Hey. And my stepmom's here somewhere. I had my whole family come in. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. We met. We met. We twizzy. Hi, uh, Juan Ramirez. And this is all me right here. Everything here. Just, I'm the paint guy here, so. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What are we painting next? So here we have the, our next in line is going to be the 49 Ford. Yeah, so that's the next one coming in line. So as you can see, we're getting it ready. Uh, so yeah. Nice. Great. Silver. Should be a nice one. Should be good. How long have you been here? Like three years? I've been here going on four years. Going on four years. Yeah, four years. So. FFG OG. All right, so here we have Howard Ken Henry Howard Kendricks. Howard yeah. Kendricks. Howard Kendricks. 66. 66. C10. <laughs> this is in final primer. So 
our next uh, on the agenda to do the final blocking and get it ready for uh, for paint. So once we get everything final blocked out, we're gonna put it in the booth and throw some color on it. So this will be the next one in line. So awesome. should be a fun one. This is gonna be a nice one. It's gonna be awesome. This one's gonna be blue. You're gonna have a little fun with this. Yeah, one, right? this one's gonna have this one's gonna have a little pop to it, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be nice. Tell us who you are. Keith and Sharma. Well, Keith Queen. and Sharma. We love you guys. You guys Thank are you. local, so we see you a little bit more than yes. other, other customers. Yes, we get to come in. It's looking awesome. So um, we're pretty excited for it. Um, it's my grandpa's truck, so we're third generation owners. My dad had it. We, we are pumped up to see it all get put together and yay! It's exciting. Yeah, you guys are definitely keeping this one in the family, right? Oh, yes. Our son, who's 19, it will eventually be his. That's why he in comes future. in with you guys to that's make right. the decision. That's, yeah. why he wants, that's why he has a little say in it. Yeah, so he'll be for a generation. He's like, that's yeah. going to be mine later. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we are so excited. And we love Fat Fender. It's been yes. great. I'm um, Noah. I work over at Swiss Suspension. Coming out here to hang out. So Brought my truck out. The same Noah from, what is it called? What's your YouTube thing called? Like Noah, uh, Noah knows uh, it or I'm something? The, I'm the Noah know about it. Noah know about it. That's what it is. I said Noah knows it. Pretty close. Close enough. Yeah, we like your videos. You guys are doing bomb. Thank you. Okay, tell us about your truck. Um, so it's just a 2011, it's a 5.3 bored out stock crank with an 80 mil turbo on it. Makes about 900 to the rear wheel. Okay, okay, how often do you drive it? Uh, I just got it back a couple weekends ago. I take it out about every weekend. Okay, okay. It kind of sleeps Monday through Wednesday, Thursday through Sunday. It's out on the street having fun. There you go, a weekender. Yeah, we it's, a, it's a weekend warrior for sure. Hello. Well, we already know you, but for anybody who doesn't know you, introduce yourself. I'm Gage. I uh, do body work, so they tell me. Uh, we're having a good time here at the open house. There's yeah. a lot of people who showed up. I'm happy to be here. Happy. Yes. How, how's it for you? Is it fun? It's been a blast. Yeah. We had the, we had we had the, the burgers. burgers. The burgers? Oh, yeah, are they good? They were Fantastic. Good. Burgers were good. really good. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Well, sweet. Thank you guys for coming. Yes, thank you. We'll see you Gage on future videos. Yes. Know. Okay, thanks. This is so cute. This is the first time I've seen this. We've been saying how we need RC, RC cars for all of our trucks. I want to bring them to shows and have little, little RC stuff, make little miniature replicas of the trucks. Okay, maybe you guys remember our Dodger truck. That's kind of what we called it because it's nothing but a Dodger truck. It had Dodger blue, it had a big Dodger emblem in the bed. Y'all remember that one. So we fixed his Coyote swap and then um, he seemed to like it enough to bring it back and we stripped all the paint and we're doing a whole new paint job. Um, and yeah, so we just got started on this one. I, th I think we got it back a couple months ago. Um, it's already cooking. This one is the um, brown coat body for that one up front that um, looks really bomb I'm, like it has the suspension on there it looks so cool this one is the GT 100 it's usually um, in the back but we moved it forward because it's done with fab they put some headers on there I know that they're working on I don't honestly it looks bomb I hope you guys have been having a lot of fun with us if you want to see a more cinematic video with kind of the different builds a little less talking if you don't want to hear me talk um, we're gonna have a second video that has all of the builds that came through all the trucks that came through our builds um, so we're gonna have two videos on this event so if you don't want to hear me talk then watch the other one okay Roman how was your night it was awesome a lot of fun cool trucks great food mm -hmm. good company that's for sure mm -hmm. okay we were looking at the Bronco in there and it looks dope yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be cool. I'm glad we put yeah, that one up front. It looks, it's yeah. different than the other ones that we've done. Yeah, it's definitely unique, you know. We don't really do off-road or anything like to that magnitude. Yeah. Huge tires, somewhat of a, you know, pretty solid rock crawler. Yeah. And the bumpers put those big spindles on there. The, the swing gates for his gas tanks and then his spare tire carrier and stuff. You know, the hoops, the bump stops, you know, all integrated into the frame. That billet aluminum steering is pretty much like top-notch right there. You can't from RPM Fab, Don over there killed it, so, you know, that's pretty legit. It's definitely. It is a dope round though. Yeah. Alrighty, so we have our food trucks. We had three this year, and we are super happy that everyone's loving it, so let's go see. We've got random AF tacos, and who should I talk to? What up, this is Enrique with Random AF Taqueria. Make sure you guys check it out. Hashtag your girl's favorite birria here in AZ. Oh, okay. okay. You guys got like a close team, it looks like? Yeah, yeah, it's all family well together. Yeah, you yeah. guys work well together, I noticed. Yeah. Those yeah. keto tacos are fire. Thank you, man. Thank so you, thank long. you. Appreciate it. So we've got Bad Jimmy's is our second food truck. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's up? I'm Bad Jimmy. We out here. 
Uh, we're from Phoenix. We're normally located at the uh, Cobra Arcade Bar. Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. Uh, bring your mom, bring your grandma, bring the whole family. Thank you so much for having us, appreciate it. So this is our dessert truck called What the Crepe. Well, I should let you introduce yourself, who, who are you? Hey, I'm Matt from What the Crepe. So you guys have like a whole little, oh, this is so cute. It's yeah. tiny, it, like, yeah. that's crazy to it put all this handy. in here. It probably gets hot in here, no? Yeah, it's a little hot. This is badass. It smells so good in here. Thanks. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, I need to get one. Thank you guys for coming up. Yeah, no, of course. My name is Solomon. I do not work at Fat Fender Garage, but I love this place. You do. I have Ford Era. Uh, I'm also the editor for F100 Builder's Guide magazine. That's a new thing, so congratulations. Thank you. So it's pretty go. cool. I mean, especially like we're in the two-time back-to-back, you know, street yeah. trucks builder of the year shop. So, you know, you guys definitely know how to build some street trucks around here. We're trying. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So now, you thank know, you. it's a learning curve. You get F100s, they're finally it starting is. to get finished up. So yeah. 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 You're excited. so. What do you think about this Ford? Honestly, I can't wait to see it finished. I mean, it's a long time coming. Uh, I've join been coming the club. Here, what? I've probably seen it five or six different variations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting to see that now it's like in the final push. Right. You know, no. like it's it's getting there. Insane. All the body mods are so tastefully done. And a lot of people like, while it was being built, were like, oh, is that going to work? Like when it was in the body work phases, because mm -hmm. it never looks the same before mm -hmm. the paint's on it. And it really came together. You had a great vision. I'll tell you what inspired me on this one. It was at the debut of the bullet car. Remember the Steve McQueen the oh, yeah. bullet show and they brought out the original bullet that was that one, one of them, yep. right? And uh, and then they came out with a new bullet Mustang. I remember looking at it at Barrett Jackson here and I was thinking, well, that actually sucks. And the metallic was super poor. It was just like, man, that really sucks. And so Bad I started execution. thinking, yeah, and I was just like, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that version in an F100. So I started taking a lot of styling cues and a thought and some GT feelings and I incorporated with Pinstripe Chris, we kind of started talking about it and designing it. That was it though. Like I didn't want to be like so far past the point of no return that it didn't still look like a 1967 truck. So anyway, so yeah, I'm excited to get it done and it'll be really cool to wrap it up. But. Um, I love That's seeing it. him in the build process. Because once once the interior is done, you don't realize that you have all those hours and wiring and making mm -hmm. sure all those wires look as beautiful as it does. And then yeah. you don't get to see how much, I mean, the resto mod and then, you know, the cage and all these different things that you guys did on here that mm -hmm. it's always going to get covered up by some beautiful leather work. It's all going to get covered up. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. You got to tell us about your breakdown. You shut I up mean, a little wait, late. Wait. It's not an emotional breakdown, it's which is okay. actually well, defend yourself. This might too still soon. happen. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> it only no. just happened, like not even like a whole day ago. <laughs> Seven weeks ago, Kyle from Delfab, he's like, "Hey, we need to get your camper truck to the Good Guys show." And I'm like, "Well, it's in Colorado. It doesn't work." The guy says the motor's blown, and uh, he's like, "All right, so let's go pick it up, bring it to my shop, and we'll figure it out." And I was like, "Okay," and then we did that. So we brought it there. Once we got it back. Um, the motor actually wasn't blown, the guy was wrong. We got it to fire, we did some basic tune-up stuff then five weeks ago, and then I ordered a bunch of parts, and I flew back to Washington eight days ago, and then we did all that stuff. If you go to my YouTube channel, we made a video doing that. Um, and uh, then we attempted to drive it. It's like 1,500 miles from Snohomish, Washington, down here. The wheel decided that it didn't want to stay on the truck. It, it, worked really hard to kick itself off the truck, but luckily I stopped that. So, can't drive it, but it's nothing bad happened. I'm safe, the truck's safe. Okay. He didn't lose a wheel. Didn't so. lose a wheel, could have worked, could have been much worse. Had a great worse. time, like the, those 900 miles were great. I drove <laughs> down with Kyle and his dad, and his dad broke his no, truck too, yeah. so I wasn't yeah. the only one. And, <laughs> they you know, told us that Kyle, they had to ditch you. The biggest problem was, I didn't have any Fat Fender Garage parts on my truck, <sighs> and that was That's the real why, issue. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, if I had more Fat Fender Garage parts on my truck, it probably wouldn't have well, broke. Well, you spent as much money as Kyle did, you would have got here just as easily. <laughs> I bet you I would have. Okay, guys, thank you so much to everyone that came out. Thank you to What the Crepe. Thank you to Random AF Tacos. Thank you to Bad Jimmy's. The food was awesome. You can catch us next at the C10 reunion. I think it's April 9th, if I'm not mistaken, but April 9th. We're going to be there um, as a vendor, so you can come and say hi to us then. Thank you, everybody. We had a super great time. We're going to do this again next year, obviously. 
So if you couldn't make it out this year, then definitely make it out next year. And like I said, if you don't want to watch the video of me talking, then um, head over to our channel and you'll find the other one or it's linked below or something. We'll get it to you. So you can watch the video of um, all the trucks that came by. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Thank you so much again. We really appreciate you guys and we'll see you next year.